Alt. Identify yourself. I am Commander Jax. Commander Jax is in ALB. Not possible. Error detected. ID not found in system. Initializing termination. Do your duty. The drone on the gate has been put out of action. The U-5 prototype? That you pilfered from the clerics? Yes. Shit. And you can't fix it? Ah, oh, damn. That means I have to start working again. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark Gannon. Bid you all welcome back to Elex. Last episode. Shit went down with the Calyx. We learned who we are, who we were. And, uh, we moved on into Chapter 4. And I think we got more to learn from Thorald before we can move forward. So, let's have, uh, continue our chat with him. So, what are your plans for getting into the Ice Palace? The Alps will move the bulk of their forces to the borders of Zaykor. We need to take out those positions. That will open the way for a direct assault. What I need to know first is whether the Separatists will help us with this attack, or if they attack us as we move against Zaykor. Are you ready? I don't know. The, the Separatists seem uh, like they probably won't trust us after how your people have treated them so far. Your plan is a frontal attack. We've scouted the Ice Palace, and now is the time to strike. The Albs have moved their forces. They trust too much in those energy barriers of theirs. All we need to do is take out the barrier generators, and we will open our way in. Your raider is perfect for that task. That's why we need it. What will make you trust the Separatists? The same as it took to trust you. I want to see them start shooting at Albs. Actions speak more than words. Actions earn trust. One raider won't stop an army. The Alb's biggest weak point is Elex. With the converters gone, we've cut off their new supplies. Now, we need to take out what they have stockpiled. How are we going to destroy the barrier generators? We crippled a similar generator when we attacked the converter here in Idan. All we had to do was target the ventilation port. It took one shot from our ballista to cripple the generator, and that brought the shield down. Your raider cannon has a lot more power than a ballista. So, if you hit the generator's ventilation port at full power, it will blow and the ice palace will lose its defense. This raises a couple questions about the Alves, uh military and industrial aptitude. Why would, first of all, the generator of the shield be outside the shield? And why don't you use, why did you only use the shield on one converter? Because we took out the rest of them without having to worry about it. And what if your plan to transmute all their Elix stocks doesn't work? If they still have their Elix, we can't fight the Alb army. We will have to target their commanders instead. If we kill the Alb commanders in charge of the defenses around the Ice Palace, the resistance should crumble. With them dead, the soldiers won't stop us getting into the Ice Palace. So, what are you planning to do when you get to the hybrid? Heal him. If we can bring him into contact with a seedling, it will transmute the Elex within him, changing his nature. We can heal him as we heal the planet. To reach the hybrid, we will need the code to his chamber. Don't you think I know that? But none of my prisoners have known the code or would give it up. All I have discovered is that it has something to do with the hybrid's past. But what? The Alexiters are the only ones with access to the hybrid. Anyone below that rank can't enter the chamber unless the hybrid calls them personally. Then you need to find an Alexiter and get the code out of him. Why would they have the code, though? I mean, unless the code is to get into his chamber. But, um... This is all... I'm sure that the hybrid is going to turn out to be somebody from the lore of the old world. So it's either going to be Arvid, the um, the long-gone uh, prophet of the clerics, or it's going to be that Charles Dawkins fellow. You said we could change the hybrid instead of killing him? We can try and change him with mana. 
If it doesn't work, the mana will poison him. Is that a problem? You think killing should be an easy to see? We've killed everybody else! Hesitated to order the deaths of hundreds, thousands. There is a chance we can convert it, change it with mana. But change him or kill him, he must be stopped. I'm just saying that we have no objection to killing all the soldiers, killing their commanders, but for some reason the guy on top, who is the mastermind behind all this destruction, is apparently the one we're trying to show at least an ounce of empathy for, for some reason. I don't understand it. Hmm. So I can't pick that anyway, but... Why can't I just do something dismissive so it can keep moving without me having to make a a choice here? Killing the hybrid is the only way to save Magalan. For all his knowledge and power. Wow, suddenly she likes that. For what he has done. Whatever his plan is, it can't be worth the damage he's caused. I agree. While there is a chance we could stop the fighting and keep his knowledge, we would be risking all of Magalan to try. We can hope the mana will heal him as it is healing Magalan. Maybe we could force him onto a different path, but the safety of the planet must come first, even if that means killing him. The Alexiters say that the hybrid has a greater plan for all of us, that he knows the nature of Elix and why it came to our world, that he has the power to see the future. Before we act, we should find out what the hybrid knows. If we don't gain the knowledge, we could pay the price for it. Well, if he has a plan that is supposed to benefit us, I haven't seen a sign of it. That thing only wants power. Listen to him if you must, but take this seedling into the chamber with you. You must attach it to the hybrid. That is how we will tame him or kill him. Huh. That's uh, an interesting approach. I'm sure he's just going to stay in there calmly as I, you know, whack a plant on him. The last time I tried to confront Calix, he didn't come alone. There were Albs patrolling the area where we were to meet. I need to get him alone. Then you must choose a place yourself. Zardom's old hiding place, for instance. Maybe there you will get a chance to meet Kallax alone. It's good that I know where and how I can challenge Kallax. What? I will send Kallax a message through my adjutor. Oh, apparently I can do that now. Straight away. Then you should act now, before he decides to attack you. What? This is... Oh my goodness. How are we putting all this together? Why wouldn't he bring an army to Zardam's hideout? Like, why is that the one place he's apparently afraid to bring an army, but not afraid to go to himself? Like, I don't understand it. The fuck? How far advanced is your plan to transmute the Elix? The planning is complete. If it works in practice, then all the Elix on Magalan should be transmuted. But I can't control that amount of magical energy on my own. I will need a strong mage to help me. Someone who truly understands the nature of Elex and mana. Well, good thing I have someone right over my shoulder. Then ask Kaya. Kaya has the ability. But as for the temperament, this isn't the time for impulsiveness. The magic we'd be channeling if she didn't follow orders. What other choice do you have? Well, bold times take bold decision. I'll have to trust her. But she won't listen to a request from me. You must ask her to do it. Since when is she, like, so uptight? Because she's never had a problem with me, and she was very respectful of you the time we showed up unannounced. You know, she, she had nothing but res respect for the work you do. Apparently seemed to trust you and almost idolize you in a way. Thorold needs your help with this Elix experiment. So he thinks he's finally done it, does he? that he can take away the fighting strength of the Alps with one act of magic. You should help him. Tell Thorold I'll be there when he starts the experiment. Okay. Uh, he's right here. You both could have had that conversation with me refereeing. But, uh, Jesus. I'm, I'm starting to get the really bad impression that Piranha Bytes has gotten drastically lazier with the writing in this game the closer they got to the end. And, uh, unfortunately, that's... Putting this in line with everything I've heard of the people who really, you know, sneer at this game's ending. So I'm, I'm not too optimistic about how this is all going to turn out. Hopefully it won't be as bad as the naysayers are making me believe. Kaya will help with the experience. 
experiment. She will? And is she ready now? Ask her. Oh, ask yourself. Are you sure you are ready for this? Are you? Are you sure this will work? You're not the only mage, Kaya. I'm certain of my findings. 90% certain. 60 or 70% at worst. But if we pull it off, who's to know we were ever worried? Everything is ready. We can begin... What the hell is the point of that? You should begin the experiment now. So be it. Keep your distance. This could be dangerous for anybody close by. All right, I'll stand back. I don't think it worked. Oh, shit. Oh, I fucked up. That's not good. We failed. Close. But Zard Zarda must have known what we were planning. I can't try again alone. Even if we can find Kaya, it would take weeks to recalibrate everything before attempting that again. We must move to attack the Ice Palace as soon as we can. If they are this intent on stopping us, the hybrid must be close to achieving his plans. What about Kaya? Kidnapping her has stopped me making any further progress with my plans. But then killing her would also have stopped the transmutation. So why did he kidnap her? Zardom must have seen the same power in Kaya that you did. He must be planning to use that power for himself in some way. He was interested in her. He asked me to find her. That can't be a coincidence. Where do you think Zardom has taken Kaya? Zekor. His ambition has always been to take command there. He seeks a chance to rule. So, he'll want to keep an eye on things in the Ice Palace. He will be close to there. He'll probably be in the same spot he was before, where now Kallax is going to show up. What if Zardom wasn't responsible for your failure? What if something else stopped your transmutation? His intervention is the only thing that makes sense. You don't seem certain. The only other explanation is that Elex itself was resisting the transformation. But that's not probable. Not probable or not possible? Resistance would imply purpose, consciousness. And Elex is a substance, not an entity. Well, you should have had a word with Kaya before you start all this. Kaya thought Elex could be alive. What are you talking about? She said that's what she felt. That Elex is more than a substance, that it communicated with her. Couldn't that be what went wrong? What you're saying is impossible. Kaya is able enough when it comes to magic, but she's misinterpreted what she's seen. I've run experiments on Elex, studied it for years, and I've seen nothing to indicate that what you're saying is true. How could Kaya just stumble on something like this in the time she's had? What will you do now that the experiments failed? We must take the fight to the hybrid. It seems an assault on the Ice Palace is the only way to end this war. We will see each other again in Zekor. You said that we are fighting for the same cause. So, we must take that fight to the hybrid. And, for the hope of all Magalan, we must be victorious. Alright, you don't seem to be in a huge hurry, but, uh, I'll take your word for it for now. So Zardom, the poor man Zardas, has come in and just fucked everything up. I mean, yeah, I, d I don't believe he fucked up the experiment, but he was here to observe it, see what we were capable of, and try and exploit it. I'm, I'm sure that's what that dealio was. Alright, I'm gonna finish up get 50 constitution we aren't like hurting for hp really but um it's definitely gonna it's gonna get us the paladin pants so that's what i need what else do we need think more strength to get some more better melee weapons might help okay i'm not sure what to spend this on might need more hacking. I did put a point in hacking off screen because I realized that we're we're having trouble getting into places lately. Any other I don't 
healing. We don't really need that. Can't get any of those. Increases crafting skill. Now, this is the one that's supposed to be retroactive, so I'm going to go take a look and see if that's actually the case. So we need a crafting trainer before we move on. Now, I, I ran around the fort for a bit, and I discovered that uh, William actually has a dialogue option. Well, there's no crafting trainers here. So I want to check out and see if uh, he does have anything to say. I'm finalizing my plans to attack the Ice Palace. I've come here to see if you will help. And drag Tavar into your personal score? So you don't have the courage. This isn't courage, it's stupidity. I'm not about to throw my life away on some battlefield in the ice desert. I can hardly imagine that anyone else will do so either. And where will Tavar be when we win and you weren't with us? Here, intact, in profit. Where will you be when the hybrid blows your ashes into the sky? Take your crazy ideas out of here. All right, so there's nothing to be done about that. Well, none of this has quite worked out as we planned. I haven't checked in on the boys in Origin to see if they have any insights. The guys who were here before. And maybe some companions will have some new shit. Commander, supplies located. Thank you for you know, I got a lot of that shit. I should start converting into a mana. Uh, he doesn't have shit. Somebody here has to be a crafting trainer. I wonder if he was serious about that. All right, let's see if this actually gets us anything. Oh, it's not crafting. God damn it. What the hell is it? Survival? It's personality. Uh. And does it... Where is it? Hang on, where the hell's it gone? It doesn't work! Alright, that was a waste then. So, that's bogus. No sense wasting a uh, point on that now. Because I don't think we got too many level ups left in us. But. Now we get the paladin armor. Let's go grab that before we make any other actions here. We lost Kaya, who's been our best follower so far, so I'm gonna have to find somebody else. Right, I need more money for that. Will I have enough money if I. We'll have enough money if I sell my current armor. No. But surely I have enough to get there. That'll do. Alright, let's get these new dugs on. Oh yeah, we pimping. 
Are that the paladin's helmet, or is this a normal warrior helmet? Ah, oh, what's this garbage? I'm better than this. Get up, you fool. I need to look appropriate. Give me that. You take that. Good deal. What are you doing with your face? Alright. Now our face isn't quite as obscured anymore. Well then. Guess that about does it. Should probably stock up on some arrows. I think we're running a bit low at this point. Might as well take them all. Yeah, that's an another quest I keep... I guess... I think I mentioned it before. I, I missed it. Because I got sick of hearing Angram talk, so I didn't go through all his dialogue options. Turns out he had a quest to rat out that Bertram fellow. And that is another thing that probably could have saved those stupid Separatists from Hakon, the dickhead. Let's just do a bunch of these. I think we got loads of Elex still. We got all that mana. Now, how much more mana do we get? Hopefully, it's a lot. Just what will happen if we all Take this all up to the hotel and invest in some potions. Bang. That isn't enough. I crush some small mana potions together. Oh. Hmm. Ooh. Let's do two of those. That's probably going to be a big help. As long as we can get to the point where we're using able to use both of our big spells, our support spells back to back, it's really what I'm looking for. Let's see if it works. If not, then I'm going to have to try and get a bit more. That King Sorrel has been surprisingly hard to come by. Oh, yeah, we got it. Like, so I can even get uh, two casts of the um, aspect of the warrior off. That's good to know. Right, let's throw down on some healing potions, too. What's that take? Also takes King Sorrel. Can't do that. I need some monstrous healing potions. Oh, wow. Get some large healies. What do I do? Oh, wow. We only get four of those. We're going to need a lot of liquor. I think liquor's a better deal for that than than the uh, the wine is. Hmm. Yeah, 28 of those. If I can get more large potions, that'd be Stop the way to go. With that technology, will you?
Alright. That yeah, should do us for a little while. Oh, I, I didn't realize how many mighties we already had. So I think we're probably going to be set for the rest of the game. In all frankness. Though I should get some more of this good old soup. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it's not the same soup. Oh, it was the bone soup that I needed. Can we make bone soup? Oh, no. Alright, well, we'll save the bone soups then. Alright, well, where do we stand? Okay, yeah, we need to kill six commanders. All right, we'll check in on the raider. Pick up a new companion. I'm not sure who to grab, because we're about to go through some, uh... You know, some of our most trying moments. And unfortunately, Kaya is not going to be there with us, so... I don't really like you. <clears throat> Falk, you're, you're a cool guy. I don't know, like, I, I'm weirdly partial towards Ray because even though he's, his AI is so fucked, he's still a decent dude. But I think he'd rather stay here and catch up with his brother. Durris is surprisingly useless. Like, considering he was the guy who got us started in all this, he has never mattered since. Like, we did his whole quest with the the murder and everything. And that was it. He hasn't had a damn thing to say since then. Alright, well. I think we already sent a message to Calyx here, so let's see what happens. If Zardon was stupid enough to come back here. Show yourself so we can end this. Where is the tactical skill that had the hybrid ready to appoint you one of the chosen? There you stand in the open, ready to be picked off. How vulnerable your feelings have made you. What brought you here, Calix? I sent you one message and you came running. So, you know about our past? Wardick should have kept our secret. I will not let you spread the story further. I will keep my honor. That sounds like emotion to me, Calix. Fear? Anger? Confusion? Which of those drove your attempt to murder me? Murder? You failed your mission. The directive is clear. Failure of a mission is punishable by execution. Is that why you really came here, Jax? Are you ready to die? How long have you known that we are the children of Berserkers? I have always known. You were too young to remember, but I have always remembered the faces of my real parents. But they too are irrelevant. We benefited from the fact we were taken from the Berserkers. You are my brother. That must count for something. Are you trying to provoke an emotional reaction? Emotions are a waste of energy. They cloud perception. What did you mean, appoint me to the Chosen? All Albs the Hybrid sees as having a Lexitor potential have a BioCore chip implanted to maximize their efficiency. They and others he sees the potential in. We have been selected to serve his future. To ensure the future comes to pass, you had been chosen to evolve to the next level. The hybrid had even had you implanted with a chip ready to communicate with you, so he could guide your thoughts. If I have a chip, then why hasn't the hybrid ordered me back to Zaycor? How can I have my free will? Because you got lucky. 
Your chip must have been damaged when I attempted to execute you. That is the only explanation. Is it the only? Convenient that your proof has been destroyed. Tell me, Jax. Do you never see images you can't explain? Visions? Uh, they're mostly flashbacks. Some of those will be memories. Others are thoughts that spring from your connection to the hybrid. He sees the future. The plans of the free people. All of Magellan and some of those visions will have leaked into your mind through the chip. I must speak to the hybrid directly. What is the code to his chamber? Only Alexiters can be told that. You are no Alexiter. I know the code is something to do with the hybrid's past. But all I know of his past is that the Alps found him. That he showed our leaders the future and took control of our people. The past is irrelevant. All that counts is the future. So why does the hybrid hide this? What is it about his past that he wants to stay hidden? You saw his past when you had an audience with him. What I saw is irrelevant. The universe, skies stretching to infinity. Does that relate to the code? You said Tarek talked about the old world. Is that a clue? Come on, Kallax. You know there is more to this. I know you wanted answers then. You must still want them. I serve the directive. The law demands the death of those who learn it illegally. So I'm right. It is something to do with his past, with what you saw. The past is irrelevant. You expect me to believe that you have never wondered about the code? It could be anything. It would be logical for it to be random. It would be efficient to change it, but instead the code remains the same and is rumored to link to his past. Doesn't that sound emotional? Why would he stick with something like that? It has to mean something. You are allowing your own emotions to cloud your thinking. Our world is in the hands of the hybrid. We should know what makes him who he is. The past is irrelevant. All that counts is the future. The hybrid must achieve supremacy. You have come to me with the emotion and twisted logic of the free people. Listening to you any longer is a waste of time. I will end this here and now. You had your chance, but you let it pass. You will not stand against me. Shit! Damn! The code is something to do with the hybrid's past. In the vision that Kallax saw, Kallax's reaction proves I'm on the right track. And it has something to do with the old world. Perhaps it might mean something to Harley. He knows a lot about old world installations. I didn't want to kill him. I was really hoping there was a way to avoid that, but I may have made the wrong choice. When I tried to appeal to him as my brother. Going with him, you know, try if I maybe if I had more cold value, we could have actually reasoned with him. But I think it was we had gone too far in the opposite direction for him to even humor our thoughts, which sucks. So uh, unfortunately, I think that's just one of the consequences of having too much. Of uh, an emotional value, and that and that probably plays. It, if it is not possible to save, to not avoid killing Calix, then obviously I'm just talking shit. But if appealing with him, appealing to him, fucking fire trucks. If appealing to him with the more logical dialogue option could have happened, then. I don't know. We might have saved him, but yeah, that 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 does, would play in with Piranobite's claim that an emotional value is not necessarily a good thing and will not always get you the best outcome. So, yeah, maybe I should play it a little more balanced, and maybe if I don't just get totally burnt out of this game by the end of it, I might do a more uh, cold value kind of playthrough on my own. I don't think I'm ever going to stream it or anything like that. I just don't have time for that kind of thing. But, uh... Well. That's, that's what went down.
I guess we just gotta keep stepping forward. Infinite skies. We know infinite skies. We've been finding all these damn things. So he's gotta be someone related to infinite skies, which means he's either Arvid or Dr. Dawkins. So those are the only two names that have kept coming up in all of the like recordings and everything that we found. And I think Dawkins might actually be the more sensible answer, because Arvid did go on to found the clerics. He's also been talked about a lot less in all of these uh, old, old world lore things that we found. Dawkins is somebody who kept coming up as somebody who sort of trashed the plans uh, for the Kalan rocket and all that stuff. So, he might actually be the one this is all about. Maybe he saw a different opportunity in the Cataclysm that Infinite Skies predicted with a comet and decided to try and keep humanity on Magalan in order to seize the opportunity for either personal growth, growth or the evolution of our species. Who knows? Time will tell. Um, what do we need to do next? I think we'll drop in with the Separatists. We need to talk to Sestak anyway, but we gotta tell Dad that, uh, Kallax ain't no more. And he's gone. Well, Wardek isn't going to be part of our plans anymore, I guess. Have you seen Wardek, my father? I thought he was traveling with you. I don't know where he is now. Huh, that's not good. Probably back into the fucking Ice Palace. To attack the Ice Palace. You have achieved much, but I am still to understand your intentions. What do you mean? Which side are you fighting for? Are you fighting against the hybrid? Or are you only motivated by your need to revenge yourself against the Alexiters? The Alexiters are our common enemy. That should be enough. But what are your intentions for the hybrid? Will you admit that he seeks to control the destiny of the Owls? We will only fight alongside you if you share our interests. The hybrid goes. The old directives must be restored. Tell me your intentions. The hybrid's rule must end. There's no other way to finish this. Then we stand with you. I will order final preparations to begin. We will meet again in Zaykor. Victory will be ours. All right. Now, I didn't explicitly say that I'm taking their side, that, uh, you know, I'm going to restore the old directive in the... The elves and everything. So, we didn't exactly lie to them. We just agreed that the elves were to be destroyed. And I guess there's a few hanging out here for some reason. Or at least just separatist warriors. Nope, they, they are indeed elves. Bitch! Yeah, eat it. I don't think you're gonna get much done camping around here, and I don't know why the Separatists haven't spotted you. All right, then. Hmm. What's the next step? Now, I think what I'm gonna do, because I deal so much damn damage, I might actually turn down player damage a little bit. Or turn it up. Hey, oh, fucked up. And that's normal. I don't care about mini games. Mini games are garbage. No aiming help. Manual focus. Difficult combat uh, combo. Same to cost normal. 
All right, I should I should do it. Um, what else do we got? Oh yeah, we gotta gotta see about the raider. But we also apparently have to inquire with Harley about the old world. But there's also Jack, the lighthouse keeper, who knows probably even more about the old world. I would like to return someday. How are you getting on with the raider? We're almost there, but only almost. What else do you need to get the raider ready? One of the control jets must have taken a hit when it came down. If we don't fix that, the only thing you'll be flying is circuits. How do we get a new control jet? Well, only the Alps built this kind of raider. So I guess the only place I can think of would be an Alp maintenance center. That means looking near the ice palace in Zekor. So, not easy to get. Uh, apparently I already have it. I got the replacement control jet for the raider. Well, that's a good piece of work. I'll get to repairing this right away. I need that raider ready. The Alps are gathering strength to attack the free lands. We have to be one step ahead of them. Well, I almost have the thing done, but... You want to take it to Zekor? Don't forget, half of that crate is mine. This raider is the only chance to stop the Alb attack. I was afraid you'd say something like that. You'll get the raider when I'm ready. And one more thing. Let's not pretend that I don't know who you really are. Okay? Everybody knows who I am at this point. So don't turn out to be a shit in the end, will you? So, when does the raider have to be ready? There are a few things Yesterday. to take care of first. Is there a time scale coming at any point? Alright, so this is where we're up to. I have to take care of the Alp commanders in Zaycor. That way, I can open up a path to get to the Ice Palace without the Alp forces in that area killing me before I've managed to get close. I still need to learn the access code for the Hybrid's chamber. I need that before I attempt to enter the Ice Palace. Well, it sounds like there's still something to do. Come back when that's taken care of. I'll make sure that the Raider is prepared. Just make sure you get it done before the whole damn Alb army shows up here. One question. They're saying you're fighting your brother. So? So, He's already is dead. Some big family bust up? Is there any chance you're going to turn around and buddy up again? I'm only asking because, you know, this affects the fate of the world and shit. I met with my brother Calix, the Alexiter. Ah, really? And you beat him, right? Then we should be happy you're not in pieces. I mean, that guy's a maniac, right? My brother won't trouble us anymore. But this is for so, this is more than just a family feud. So what's the problem? The Alves are led by the hybrid. It is him they serve. It is him they pledge their lives to. But I don't know why. I don't know what he is planning for the Alves, or for Magalon. Everything that happens, that has happened for generations is because of the hybrid. Only he can answer my questions. Only he can end this war. So, what are you planning? If I am to get the answers I need, then I have to find a way to get to the hybrid in the Ice Palace. But that means I need to get the code to access his chamber. Do you know where you can get it? All that I know is the code has something to do with the hybrid's past, and has something to do with stars, the universe, infinite skies. Infinite skies. Hey, that's something I've seen before in a couple of places. But where? Where? Yeah, I got it. There's an old industrial complex out to the southwest of Idan where I found some stuff that mentioned that. An old lab there. But... That's where I found the part for this damn thing. Why would that have anything to do with the hybrid? You mean the old world ruins at the foot of the mountain? Where I found the first replacement part for the raider? Yeah, that's the place. That's where I saw those words. It could be a coincidence, but... Weird, huh? I mean, maybe you can find the answer there. Perhaps. But there's only one way to find out, and that means going there. Or I Come yeah, we already know this. That was well done. Thanks. God, how, how have we not found the answer already? I mean, 
We've been there so many damn times. I don't know. I guess we'll go after the commanders first. See if uh, taking care of all that business helps us out. Now, I'm wondering. I'm going to try and avoid actually seeing it, but... Are we supposed to actually know where Kaya is in order to save her? Apparently we are. So maybe we will find her when we go after the commanders. Let's get that started. Yeah, they're pretty spread out, but at least they're close. Some of these teleporters. We should be able to take them out in a good stroke. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's how we'll start the next episode, so thank you very kindly for watching. I think we're actually getting pretty close to the end. All the people who said there's so much left to do in this game, I think you're all wrong, because... It was 50 hours of side quests, and now everything's really rolling, so... I guess, uh, next episode, we will take another step towards the downfall of the hybrid. Until then, thank you all very kindly for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, subscribe to my stream archive channel, links in the description below. We will see you all next time. Have a great night.